If you want to prevent your child from being in danger, there are seven signs that you must look for. We want to assume that you have been noticing these signs and you have not understood how serious they are. In this video, we're going to talk about these seven signs and what you should look for. I'm Dr. Bessem AB. Welcome to this channel and subscribe to see more of this content. Talking about danger signs in babies. What is danger? What is sign? Danger can be defined as the ability of something to cause harm, while signs are in display that usually signify something deeper. So danger signs in babies are the signs that when you see, you know that the baby may be in harm's way. To discuss the danger signs, to make it easy so that you can understand and you can remember, we're going to split it into general danger signs and head to toe danger signs so that you can remember very properly. The first is fever. Most times we measure fever by touching with the hands. No, all parents must have a thermometer and they must know how to use it because it's one thing to have it and one thing to use it. And fever will be considered when you have a temperature of greater than or equal to 38.5 degrees Celsius. Sometimes your hand can deceive you based on the temperature in the atmosphere or based on the number of clothing you have put. Sometimes people are in Limbe or in certain towns, Douala, and are packing clothing because and so it sometimes makes the child to um, have a high temperature. But usually it can be 38, usually it does not reach 38.5 degrees Celsius. Second, we have convulsion. There are some children that will have what we call febrile convulsions. When their temperatures are quite high, they have convulsion. Convulsions are sudden, violent movement, usually of the limbs. But in babies, newborns, they may just have some small twitching of their body and abnormal movements. So you need to know your baby very well. So when you notice these abnormal movements, it can be of one part of the body. Try to rush to the hospital. Third, we have the color of the baby. Jaundice, which is the yellowish discoloration of the eyes or on the skin of the baby. If you notice your baby is abnormally yellow, the eyes are yellowish, or even if the baby is fair, there's a certain abnormal color. It's also important to know what is normal, so that when you notice something abnormal, it'll be very easy. So even if your baby is fair, you have to understand how the complexion of this child is. So when there's little change, even if something as small as a little yellow discoloration, you can notice it. You rush the baby. Talking about the color of the baby too. If the baby is bluish, some children will have heart conditions and so on. You may notice that they turn blue after eating or they are blue after certain conditions. You need to rush the baby to the hospital. Now, going to the head to toe danger signs. Let's start with the mouth. So, if the baby refuses to eat, in for one biology, most of us study about the characteristics of living things, and one of them is nutrition. A living thing will be able to eat. I know babies love to eat, they eat every two hours. So, if you realize your baby is refusing to eat, breast milk, which is the best milk on planet Earth, they are refusing to eat, it's very important for you to consult at the health center so that this baby is checked. Second, we have difficulty in breeding. Living things must breathe, and a baby is a living thing. So, if you realize a baby is gasping for air, breathing abnormally, breathing too fast, breathing too slow, anything abnormal, rush with this child to the hospital. Going to the abdomen, we have vomiting and all diarrhea. Vomiting is the process of possibly ejecting food from the stomach. So, 80% of your baby's body is made up of water. When they lose fluid in form of vomiting or diarrhea, and diarrhea is not soft stool, diarrhea is watery stool more than three times in a day. So if the child eats something or you've eaten something soft orange and the child is having one episode of watery stool, do not be worried, that's not diarrhea. It needs to be three episodes of watery stool which is abundant within 24 hours before you can consider it diarrhea. Worst of vomiting and all diarrhea, just pack your back. Running straight to the hospital. The last but not the least, talking about the limbs, if you realize reduced activity, a baby is not playing as much, a baby is not moving as much, it may be a call for concern. Also, to finalize this, if you have any worry at all, maybe as a new mother especially, you realize you don't like something about you, you think you don't understand something, do not go to search, go go tell you all kinds of things. Carry the child to the pediatrician, which is the doctor for babies. Carry, if you're not where you can assess an, a pediatrician, carry the child to a general practitioner. Carry a child to any healthcare professional you can assess so they examine your baby and they reassure you. So I really appreciate if you can jot down all the points in this video and paste them in the wall and everywhere around your house so that even if you're not at home, anybody at home that spots one of these danger signs can rush the baby to the hospital. Thank you so much for watching to the end and until next time. Ciao!